Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to create a program that will monitor the position of our robot so we can utilize it in other programs or just to know where it is in space. So the first thing we need to do is unlock it inside of our system. So we need to go to menu, go to next, and then number six, which is system, and then variables. So this is generally located in about the high 500s, low 600s, and every machine is different. It all depends on what you have loaded for your system. So I'm going to go shift and then down. So we get to the S's. And we are looking for a CR group. So here for mine is 594. Again, every machine is going to be a little bit different. So when I turn off shift here, I'm going to go to detail, detail, and then we're going to go down until we find machine position, which is generally in the 50s. So here's machine position enable. Right now it is false. And what that does is that controls these lines, 56 all the way through 61. When this is false, this remains as zero. So I run this program, you'll see these remain as zero. I run this. Notice how these numbers remain zero, even though the machine is running. So if I go here and I switch this to true, now watch what happens to the numbers as soon as I run this program. Now it's giving us our machine position data. Now just take a picture of the dollar symbol SCR underscore group bracket one, and then these numbers right here, machine position X, machine position Y, take a picture of this right here because we're going to code this into a program so that we can set these numbers into a register so that we can utilize it from program to program. All right, with this picture taken, we're going to turn this back to false so I can show you that you can hard code into your program to make this true. So let's make that program that will enable our machine position to be utilized and also send our machine position XYZ WPR to a data register. So let's go to select, let's go create, and let's call this machine position. Now, because this is just handling data with ins and outs and everything else, let's go to detail and let's turn the group mask to asterisk because again, we're not moving anything. We're just taking position data. So we're going to run this in the background. So we need to have this as an asterisk. So let's go to end. So the first thing we need to do is turn on or enable that machine position. So let's go to new instruction registers. And then we're going to go register dot 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 is equal to dot dot dot. So let's go inside here. Let's add a parameter name. And then let's type in our parameter name. Now we already have the dollar symbol for the first thing. So we're going to type in the parent one, which is the SCR underscore GRP, which is group. And then bracket one dot. And now we're going into the child. So we're going to go dollar symbol M underscore position or machine position enable NAB. Enter. And we're going to turn that on. So we have to do that as a register. Technically, it's not a register. We're taking the parameter name and we're setting it to a function of on. So if you want to turn it off, then you just turn it off again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set register, say, we'll go 30 to be our X, 31 to be the Y, 32 to be Z, 33 to be W, 34 to be P, 35 will be R. So we're going to go new instruction registers let's go with the with parentheses and we use the parentheses because there's a lot more feasibility you can use with that so we're going to go the register 30 which is going to be our x position is going to equal to let's go to parameter name and that parameter name is going to be that machine position x scr underscore grp bracket one dot dollar symbol mch which is machine underscore position underscore x 
So we have the SCR group bracket one, which is the parent. Then we go to the child with the dot dollar symbol machine position X. So we are now setting whatever the register 30 is. We are setting it to that machine position X. Now we don't have to do this constantly over and over again. We can just copy this. So let's ECDM copy, select, copy, and then let's go paste logic, paste, and we'll do this six times. All right, so this is going to be 31, 32, 3, 4, and then 35. So this is X position. This is going to be the Y position. This is going to be our Z position. It's going to be our W rotation. This is going to be our P rotation. And this is going to be our R rotation. Now you'll notice that I don't have any labels or jump labels in this is because we're going to run this as a background logic. And when you use background logic, it's going to continuously run through this over and over and over again. You do not need jump labels. So I'm going to go into those registers and I'm going to rename them. So let's go into register and I'm going to go down to 30. And this is going to be my X position, call it X position, Y position, Z position, W position, E position, and then R position. So we're just renaming these so that our registers are correct. So now we have the XPR matching. And then all we have to do is go into menu, setup, Next, background logic. And right now we have background logic. There's nothing in here. This is going to refresh eight milliseconds or every eight milliseconds. And then you can change this as well. So we're going to go eight milliseconds, which is perfectly fine for this. We're going to choice and we're going to find that machine position. And then we're going to run. And this is going to constantly run. So we never have to find this program or run this program again. This will be constantly running in the background over and over and over and over again. So now, if you need to modify this at all, you have to stop this and then modify the program. So let's check this out. In the data here, you should now see the X, Y, and Z positions of what we did be previous. And now let's run this program again to show those numbers update. And now you can see our numbers updating as it goes. And again, just a note that this only happens when you are running in auto mode. This does not work when you're in the teach mode. So you can see as I go to the teach mode and I move this position here, it does not update that register. So it only works when you're in auto mode. That's how you do a position monitoring.